What's up guys, just wanted to do a quick video explaining the law of specificity, motor learning, and skill transfer. There seems to be a huge misunderstanding in the fitness community about functional training or sports specific training. Those two things do not exist. Why? Because of motor learning, skill transfer, and the law of specificity. Once you understand these concepts, these neural concepts that have been around for the last 70 years, well, it's quite obvious that there's no such thing as sports specific training or functional training. So a good example I like to use is keyboards, right? This is my iMac keyboard. I've been typing on this keyboard for ever. Right, so, so I learned how to type on this keyboard and I'm very proficient at it. I make almost no mistakes, no typos. Now I noticed this morning in this uh, hotel uh, business room, they had this keyboard and I could not type on it. I messed up. I kept, I had to, I had to go so slow in order to hit the right keys and it's the same activity. This is a keyboard. This also is a keyboard. What's the difference? Tiny, tiny differences in key height and key spacing and probably the material. Your body can't transfer the skill from this keyboard to this keyboard and it is the exact same activity. That's called the law of specificity. In order to develop a particular skill, you must practice that exact skill, that specific skill, in order to improve it. You can't practice a skill similar to it or kind of like it. It needs to be identical, specific, okay? If you practice a skill that kind of resembles the skill you're trying to improve, you can suffer from something called a negative skill transfer. For instance, Practicing at, say my goal was to get very good at practice uh, at typing on this keyboard, but all I ever used was this keyboard. As we can tell, my ability to type on the black keyboard was diminished. That's called negative skill transfer. Common examples of this is, you know, warming up with a weighted uh, baseball bat, shooting a weighted basketball, dribbling a weighted basketball. Believe it or not, these things do exist and that would result in a astronomical negative skill transfer. If you want to develop a particular skill optimally, you not only have to practice that exact skill, but in the exact environment too. Believe it or not, if you practice shooting basketballs on a driveway basketball hoop, it would have a negative transfer to your, to your ability to shoot a basketball in a regulation gym or regulation basketball hoop. It's that specific. So, that's a negative skill transfer in the law of specificity. So if your body cannot discriminate between this and this, when they are the exact same activity, how on earth is a Turkish getup going to help you with MMA? How on earth are box jumps going to help you with football or the agility ladder, or all these other stupid, silly drills that they do in sports. Well, here's the thing, they're not. That is mere tradition, folklore, and outright myth. This is science. This is science of the neurological system. So, if you're engaged in any of these activities, you can engage in them if you want, but I'm telling you, they're not going to make you better at your skill. And in many cases, they're going to make you worse. So that's motor learning, skills transfer, and law specificity cleared up for you guys. Please follow me on Instagram at underscore J underscore Vincent. And if you want the truth about exercise and training, hit the like, subscribe, bell notification icon. So you can be notified when I give you guys the actual truth.